one that I, I came up with is the three W's, which I call the three W's for success. So if you have that in place, you now go into what I say is the youth that are going to start. It's not an easy path to tread because there's no path to follow. You're creating a tree and there's no blueprint. So what is the way power? That's the first W. What is the way power? And way power is to immerse and absorb everything that you can find on that particular topic or solution area so that you're not a man wide and easy you are an inch deep inch uh, wide and man deep you know everything about what you're going to do about this so that you have a unique advantage you also need willpower because many times people will tell you listen this is not going to work whoever thought that you could stay in your house and Someone a taxi to come and pick you up. Since I was growing up, you go to the street and hail a taxi. But with Uber, you can stay in the house and people copy from that to get to where you can even be delivered groceries at home. The whole shopping experience has been uh, Uberized. But that's the real power where someone says Austin is not going to work and you say, well, let me try one more time, maybe the success can come. The third W is the weight power. Weight power speaks to patience. A lot of our youth are very impatient, and they are the ones that are going to be going to start. Yeah, old people, older people also go, but mostly it's you. You have to cultivate a sense of patience, to wait for the crop you have planted, to yield so that you have a big harvest. If you eat it at the sixth stage, then there's nothing to harvest. If you drive on Lagos roads, you know what I'm talking about patience. And it shows in every aspect of our life lack of patience to nurture the business. The first contract you get in and you're buying big cars and flying first class and so you don't have patience. You're not going to go fast at all. And people want also to believe you because people buy for you for who you portray to be than for what you're doing. So the other equation will be the perception. Perception is the performance that you create minus the expectation you set. So you find a lot of our startups overhype and oversell. This is the expectation they create. Even if the performance is this, the performance minus the expectation is a negative perception. Just say what this thing can do and iteratively improve it. And when they don't deliver on what they promise, they go into what they call ghosting. You call the tailor from morning to night, you can't get him. It. It's Friday, he's promising your clock on Saturday for your function. And on Tuesday, he says it will be ready. On Thursday, you can't find him on the phone. Friday, you can't find him on the phone. So those are the things that destroy trust. Then people take their business to expatriate because they feel that they are more reliable. You know, so these are the things that I see. What the also leadership saw in my going to be part of the uh, faculty at Columbia Business School teaching and entrepreneurship as an entrepreneur in residence is the power of mentorship. Is the power of mentorship. And that's what moved me to come back to set up the Oslo Leadership Academy. And what the Oslo Leadership Academy does is to bring in these people that are going to be uh, uh, setting up startups and teach them about, number one, the focus and the vision and the whole gamut of the structure. Number two, strategies for geometric growth. Number three, transformation and, and, and putting a structure for governance. I think if we are able to bring this forward, then it will help the, the, the startups to do better. What's going to help them is the Africa Continental Trade Agreement, which is going to simplify 55 rules and 55 currencies into a set of homogeneous uh, uh, rules without unnecessary border uh, challenges. So that's going to be a plus for them. Of course, capital is now finding its way easier towards us, as we mentioned, pay strike. Uh, uh, Space Stack and, and Stripe and many others. So those are going to be the leverage points. But you have to be in a position to take advantage of that leverage. Otherwise, it's going to be a boom and bust and will never really take our internal business anymore. Perhaps we should study the model of Israelis. Uh, they have a very strong startup culture. Thank you. Thank you.